Hello friends, in this ECG video, we will discuss about various intervals and segments. We have already uploaded few videos on ECG basics. Also watch those videos, link will be there in description as well as in the i button. Now let's get started. The basic concept of intervals and segments. Interval contains waves and segment does not contain any waves. For example, just a CPR interval, it contains P wave. Similarly, QT interval contains QRS complex and T wave. Now let's see details about each segment and intervals. First is PR interval. It denotes the time from beginning of atrial depolarization to the onset of ventricular depolarization. That is, time taken for impulse to reach the ventricles. It is measured from beginning of P wave to the beginning of QRS complex. Normal PR interval is 0.12 to 0 0.20 seconds. And the causes for short PR interval can be tachycardia and pre excitation syndromes like WPW syndrome. For clinical purpose, just remember PR interval is inversely related to heart rate. And causes of long PR interval are first degree heart block and rheumatic fever. Next is QT interval. The QT interval includes QRS complex, ST segment, and the T wave. It is measured from beginning of QRS complex to the end of T wave. It represents the time taken for ventricular depolarization and repolarization. As the QT interval alters depending upon the heart rate, we should always calculate corrected QT interval, which is also called as QTC. There are various formulas to calculate QTC, but the commonly used is Bezet formula, which is equal to measured QT interval divided by square root of RR interval. It is standard formula to calculate QT interval, but it is difficult to perform as it contains square root function. So comparatively easy formula is Hodge formula, which is QT interval plus 1.76 multiplied by heart rate minus 60. Normal QTC interval for men is from 420 to 440 milliseconds and for females is from 440 to 460 milliseconds. Remember rule of thumb that a normal QT is less than a half of preceding RR interval. Common causes of prolonged QTC are hypocalcemia, hypokalemia, hypopangnesemia, class 1A and class 3 antiarrhythmic drugs, subarachnoid hemorrhage, congenital long QT syndrome, etc. And common causes of short QTC are hypercalcemia, congenital short QT syndrome, and digoxin. Now coming to segments. First is PR segment. The PR segment is flat and usually isoelectric line. As we discussed, segments do not contain any waves. It is measured from the end of P wave to the start of QRS complex. The PR segment abnormalities occurs in two conditions. First is pericarditis, which causes PR segment depression, and PR segment elevation or depression in patients with myocardial infarction indicates concomitant atrial ischemia or infarction, which is associated with poor outcomes. Before talking about ST segment, it is important to know about J point. J point is the junction between termination of QRS complex and the beginning of ST segment. It indicates the end of depolarization and beginning of repolarization of ventricles. Abnormalities of J point Elevated in myocardial ischemia and pericarditis. A positive deflection prior to J point is termed as J wave, also known as Osborne wave, which is typically seen in hypothermia. Next is ST segment. It is flat isoelectric section between the end of S wave that is the J point and the beginning of T wave. The segment represents the interval between ventricular depolarization and repolarization. The most important cause of ST segment abnormality that is elevation or depression is myocardial ischemia and infarction. And the causes for ST segment elevation can be remembered by mnemonic elevation. And the important causes are electrolyte imbalance like hyperkalemia, left bundle branch block, and myocardial infarction. It can be seen in other conditions like Brugada syndrome, Takatsubo cardiomyopathy, etc. And the important causes of ST segment depression are myocardial ischemia, digoxin toxicity, and left ventricular hypertrophy. So, guys, this was all about this video. Next video, we will study how to interpret axis of an ECG. So, do like this video, subscribe our channel, and also share this video among your friends. Thank you.